It's going good. We've had uh, we've had two good practices. I mean, I, I, you know, I will say right now they're, the guys are doing what we've asked about being consistent in the way we practice and the way we approach practice each and every day. So it's uh, that has that has been good. Have you played a team uh, in your coaching, your head coaching career that that Illinois kind of reminds you of? Some that we may have a better recall of. Your style, personnel. Uh, well, you know, uh, that's a hard that's hard to answer. I mean, I, I don't know who who they would resemble. I mean, uh, I, here's what I'll tell you: they've scored 96 points in two games, and they've allowed three points. I don't know. Whoever that resembles, I don't know. But uh, that's that's pretty dang good. You guys are kind of, in recent years, you guys, I think you guys have lost five games against non-conference opponents from power conferences. What's, what do you kind of feel is, has been the, the issue in, you know, kind of trying to win that big game against a non-conference well, opponent? Every single game, it's uh, it's something, you know, that you got to look at. I mean, the, the, the first one of the season, it was three turnovers. I mean, that, that Simple. I mean, it, it. The game doesn't change. You take care of the ball. You create takeaways. You you create some you know game changing plays on special teams. And if we do those three things, we got a chance to win. And in those games that we haven't been successful, we haven't done those things. Along those lines, Larry, it's been a while since you guys have put together a complete game against a pretty decent level team. Going back to Duke last year, how important is it to kind of? It's very important. In fact, that's one of the things I talked to him today about about a complete game out of all three phases. You know that it's going to take all three phases. We're not going to get it done with one or two. We're going to we're going to need all three on Saturday to make it happen. You talked about the conventional ground game from the other night. You said a couple of linemen didn't play as well as some others. What have you guys done this week to kind of fix that and get that thing moving in the right direction again? We have uh, tried to inspire them nicely. <laughs> Do you think that it's worked? Do you think that, that I don't know. We'll see it? Saturday. We'll see Saturday. We're not really giving them much of a choice whether they're getting it or not, so we'll, we'll see. We're doing it nicely, though. Coach, only two sacks so far uh, from our defense the first two games. Just talk to me about what, you like, what you'd like to see from them. Yeah, we, we, and we, that's one of the things we talked about after the game, that we have to, we've got to transition better from you know, uh, controlling the line of scrimmage to a pass rush. But when we get into those situations where we know it's pass rush, we've got to create more pressure on the quarterback. Does Illinois' high out scoring output in the first two games affect how the defense will go after trying to create turnovers? Uh, no. I mean, we're you know they understand that it's important to get them. If we don't get them, it's gonna it's gonna be a tough day. So, I mean, we know we have to win that turnover battle. So offensively, we got to take care of it. Defensively, we got to create some. Noon starts have been a little bit of a problem. You guys getting going sometimes here in the last couple. Of years. Changing up anything to do this week with the noon start? No, I'm not changing. This is just a new team. You know, this is a 2015 team, and it's a, a different team, different chemistry, different uh, leaders, everything. So we'll we'll uh, we'll see what happens at noon.